I swore I was not going to speak today. But after hearing what I just heard, this is outrageous. I'm Al Dragon, and everybody knows where I live. First of all, Sam, for you to say that yeah, I don't know if everyone knows where you live. 404 30th Street. Thank you. Sam, for you to say that you helped us, you were the person who investigated my wife solely for the purpose of establishing that she did or did not go to Cherry Hill meetings. And for you to for you to try to say that you don't have some kind of hostility against people who don't live here all year round is outrageous. And for the mayor and the rest of you to ignore this issue and call it ridiculous is itself well, ridiculous. I'm expressing my opinion, Al. Well, you're expressing your opinion. And Mr. Solari, you ought to be you ought to go to the, the Elks. Wait, I'm speaking. I when I'm done, you can speak. I agree with the mayor. Well, you stood, you just said before the people at the Elks will support him. And, and well, let me tell you something. I go to the Elks, and if you I've went there on Friday nights like I do, you would hear many, many, many people who are dissatisfied with the way things are being run here. And they are dissatisfied with the way I people who are. Wait, wait, I'm not finished. I think you find no, that in every town. I don't think any Elk would appreciate what you're saying, Al. I really don't. Please. Please just watch what you're saying about the Elks Lodge. We, we hold many things dearly. Sam. The Elks Lodge and the American Legion, the VFW. Uh, are very please, close to don't us. try to wave the flag with me. I go there and I hear people saying it, and what you said yeah. is not completely yeah. accurate. Yes, people are dissatisfied, no and you're ignoring it, and you're making a joke out We're of something that is very anyone. serious. Well, we have to make decisions. Some people are happy, some people are not happy. That's our job to make decisions. Well, when and you take 60% of the town, population and ignore them. I guess we'll see November 2nd, won't we? Well, I sure hope so. Sam's comments the other day, uh, the last two council meetings ago, I was very offended. Uh, I seen council trying to defend his words and actions, and personally, uh, I'm very offended by it. Uh, the person that was speaking that when those statements were made were uh, Mr. Plolo, Councilman Plolo's wife, in defense of her family and her husband's reputation. That is not someone who regularly speaks at council. We'll see today, and when we play this YouTube, that uh, that was not the case, that it was Isabel Plolo, his wife, coming in his defense and his family's defense. It was not a regular speaker offending council. Uh, as far as saying that it was taken out of context, it was absolutely not taken out of context. I was present at that uh, council meeting. I took it for what it was right then there. It was a slap in the face of our visitors and anybody that wasn't born here. Uh, I challenge, uh, uh, from what I understand, Mr. Storino came here in 1977. Well, from 1976 to 1981, I was spending my time in college. So he beat me by a couple years. But I took the time to educate myself. What can I tell you? A couple years make you better than me? I, I, I feel that we have... As a realtor, as an appraiser, I'm very proud of our second home people. I think Brigantine attracts the highest quality second home people here. And I think we need to support them. They drive our economy and welcome them with open arms. They buy nice houses. They're now up to about 60% of our population. They're driving our local businesses. They're driving our real estate market. And they're employing a lot of people here. Our police force, our firemen, who are our relatives and our friends. And I did a lot of exception to that. I'm insulted by them even having a shoe party. I should say, have a party and say, thanks for a great summer. Make sure you come back next year and bring more of your friends. There is a car sitting in a parking lot right now that has a bumper sticker. I ain't no foot. It's a city employee's own car. What is a foot? Let me go to a website. Everybody's familiar with Facebook? There's a web page. Brigadine Greenheads, repelling foots since 1890. Well, let's try and interpret what a foot is. Calls them foots, F explanatory or whatever, out of towners. So it's first word F O O T, out of towners. I ordered 100 stickers, so that will be enough for everyone. They should be here by Tuesday, May 23rd, 3.20 p.m. City employee, online. A foot from Canada actually came into my office to show me the bug bite she had from her green flies. Claims she will never come to Brigantine again. 
Well, I say one down, 24,999 to go. August 11, 5:36 p.m. City employees. Friggin' Foots, June 7, 8:54. It's definitely not the Foots. My regular neighbors are all cool. June 7, 12:123 p.m. There should be a vaccine for us so we become immune to the Foots. P.S. I really want a sticker. These are being distributed by a city employee. I have plenty of stickers. Don't worry. I will hold one for you. I ain't no foot. July 4th, 1209 a.m. So when people from the shore towns go visit all shore towns, are we that nasty to you? Somebody's response to these comments. If we look at the dates, hours, are they on city time? Insulting our second homeowners, and now council supports when Sam insulted the second homeowners here, or the people that weren't born here, and we're defending those comments, and they were not taken out of context. Go to YouTube. I watched that YouTube five times. I saw what I saw when I physically witnessed it, and I was very disappointed. And Sam, yes, we are friends, but that was so out of line. I really, I really was bothered by it. It hurt my heart. I know what these second homeowners mean to me. This is my living. Or I can't stay in Brigantine. Can I ask you a question, Mike? And when I see this going Mike? on, yes, in a second. Right. When I see this going on, Brigantine Greenheads, city employees on city time, talking bad and putting bumper stickers around, bad mouthing our second homeowners, I found it horrid. Horrid. We should be appreciative to have our fellow South Jersey, Philadelphia, New York people. They drive us a rebound. Mike. We're lucky we can collect taxes if they all exit Brigantine. We need to lose that cancer. Mike. That's a bad cancer. Mike, I, I, I think this process of exaggerating this situation really should end. I mean, this is this is reprehensible. A man spends... What am I exaggerating, Phil? You're, you're exaggerating the, the entire thing. I also have to tell you that I don't agree with any of the bashing, if it's going on, of shoebies or foots or whatever you want to call them. However, city employees do not check their First Amendment rights at the door. They have those rights. They don't have the right on city time to be using city equipment to do those types of things. But on their own time, they can essentially opine on anything because they have First Amendment rights just like you do, Mike.